Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be working on the charger, trying to get the roof in high build primers. So what I need to do is grind all the Duraglass down, and then I need to put another coat of Duraglass in this rail, just so that I can build that edge up. Then I could start so the first layer of Duraglass was just so the Duraglass, the next layer I could actually build it up in here and so it won't push back behind this tape line. So I'm gonna try to get this done, try to get in high build primer because if I can get in high build primer today, I could 80 grit it tomorrow and then tomorrow I'll probably hit it with high build again. Then I could 320 it, then I could seal it and paint it. Hopefully get all that stuff done tomorrow. So what I just finished doing was building the flange. How I did that was I put some masking tape up there, then put Duraglass, and then set the roof in it, pulled it up, sanded it down with 80 grit, and then I went over it with some icing or a body filler, and then I re-sanded it down. Now the roof is set back in there, and ground down all the shiny stuff on the, uh, the filler that I put on the roof. What I'm gonna do now is start filling in all the low spots before we do a skim.
Didn't get as far as I thought I was going to get with the roof, but I did make a lot of progress. I got quite a few skims on this thing. So it is pretty smooth, but I want Josh to go over it. Um, I think I'm gonna just see if he'll skim the whole roof and then block it out because he's used to getting panels this large on the older cars, nice and smooth and flat. I think I've done a pretty good job, but I just want him to double check it and skim it and go over it just to make sure this thing's smooth because once it's in carbon fiber and once the mold's made, it's kind of, this deal's kind of sealed. So um, another thing I did, which uh, is kind of to just to the chart, I think the 300 C's, chargers and 300 C's, they have this V gutter all the way down. The Challengers and the Magnums have like that drip rail with that little piece of rubber in there that's painted and always warps. Like I've said in other videos, I don't like how they look after time. Even the one on my Hellcat has already started to, it just has like divots in it. It just doesn't look good. So what I ended up having to do was since the hatch sits so far out, or not really that far out, but since there isn't the V-pan or that little gutter, um, since there isn't that gutter and the hatch is this far out and that line's right there, I just matched that line with the roof. The only issue with that is on the Chargers and the 300 Cs, the roof actually sits quite a bit further down. And I guess that's because they want, I'm thinking, I'm not sure if this is correct or not, but I think that gutter's there. So when water and rain's coming off the windshield, it has a way to flow off the roof and not all the way down the sides of the car. Sides of the car. So um, pretty much I'm gonna leave the front gutter or you know, it just sits down just a hair, not too much, but I'm gonna leave that all the way to about almost the whole front door. So when I'm driving, water doesn't just you know go and then run down the sides of the windows. If I wanna have the windows down, um, I don't know, I might put rain gutters or, or whatnot in here, but I'm not sure yet. So I'm gonna leave that, it should be fine. But once this roof is made in carbon fiber, I've also had a lot of people commenting about how much body filler I'm using on the roof, but it's gonna be molded and then made in carbon fiber. So it really doesn't matter. It's gonna weigh a ton. And that's re the reason, the main reason, why I didn't wanna just have a metal roof with a bunch of body filler on it. So um, yeah, I just need to get that there need to get this thing 100%, me and Josh need to get this thing 100% blocked out. But uh, yeah, I just like how this looks over that little gutter that's on the Challengers and the Magnum. So now that we're kind of getting close to having the roof blocked out, I thought I was gonna have this done like Friday, but the weather turned bad. Josh lives kind of far away and he hasn't been here for a couple days. Uh, so hopefully the weather's good tomorrow and we can finish this up then I could prime it, 80 grit it, and I'll probably just go 80 grit to the single stage. I got a gallon of single stage that uh, Eric at DNS gave me for the roof. So once I have a single stage, I could nib out whatever's in it, wet sand it with a thousand, and then buff it out, and then I could make the mold. So I just really like how this roof is looking. And I think once it's carbon fiber, I didn't think it was as bubbly on the top, but when you're looking down the side of it, I think once the sun catches, when it's sitting in the sun and the sun catches that blue Kevlar, I think it's just really gonna, really gonna brighten it up. I mean, it's just gonna just really complement the frostbite blue. I just can't, you know, I can't wait to see this thing with the Kevlar roof on. I can't wait to have the Kevlar roof made, but we're getting there. It just takes a lot of effort and time to block all this out. I mean, this stuff is not, I should have probably used a little bit better. I've been using the cheap body filler because I'm just skimming this and it's gonna go in the trash, but um, it's a little bit more difficult to block out. It likes to clog up the sandpaper a little bit more. And uh, you know, it's, it's just one of those things, but I really like how this is just gonna be nice and even. It has that gutter all the way down and, and uh, I haven't rolled this edge. So I'm gonna roll this edge just like it is up here. You can't really tell too much, but See how it's kind of rolled because there's gonna have to be panel bond in there to adhere the roof to the car. So now uh, that we're kind of getting done with that and getting close, I also, you know, since I was done skimming it as close as I thought I could get it, I mean, I probably could get a little bit closer, but I'll let Josh mess with it a little bit tomorrow. I started blocking out 
the quarter panel and the door and the fender and all the stuff on this side except for the upper rails because there's tape up there with 180 grit and i also found a few little spots that were so these are a few little low spots that are actually in the factory stampings and i looked at a charger today at the dealership to look at that upper rail and they all have in the back right here they all have like this little dent um, also right here and then on the wide bodies it's under the flares but they have like these little little indents because the stamping so i just gave it a little tiny skim of icing and i think we're we're pretty close on the the whole passenger side i don't think i need to add any more um, i think i could prime this one more time block it on 320 and she'll be ready to paint so that's a plus also on the front fender there was a little low low spot here so i skimmed it a little bit and uh, just right along the side where the door and the fender meet i uh, made sure there's a few little low spots so i just gave it a nice skim and uh, sanded it back down so i'll probably spot prime those areas because i reblocked that in 80 so i'll spot prime those and then reblock them in 180 grit so everything can just go from that to 320 so i don't have to reblock the whole side of the car in 180 so we were getting close. I uh, just, you know, I thought I was gonna be a lot further than I am right now. I mean, I am making good progress. I thought I was gonna already have the car painted, but unfortunately, you know, I had to do the subframe, the tranny tunnel, and the roof has been kind of a, uh, a pain. I should have cut that other roof off of the non-sunroof car because it would have been a little bit easier because I had to put so much filler where the sunroof, that uh, sunroof delete panel that I put in there, I just kind of, kind of tacked it in and. I probably should have made sure it was a little bit lo more level than it was, but we are getting there. So I'm going to end the video here. Hopefully we can get, I don't know. I'm not, I'm going to stop saying dates. Hopefully this week we can get the mold made. We'll see about making the carbon fiber piece. Once the mold's made, it'll go pretty, pretty relatively quick because the mold has to be made in a day and I have to make the carbon fiber piece in a day. So it's not like it's going to take a bunch of time like this. Once those, once the mold is made, it's just going to take a day. So hopefully you like these videos. If you do, subscribe. If you're not subscribed, thumbs up, comment below, share with your friends. As always, see you guys next time.